Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, DC3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification gang. God Squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out, man. I'm going to try to keep this as short, sweet, simple as clinically possible, my G. Look, fame do not make you the best fighter in the game when it comes to this boxing shit. Period. I'm so sick of you fanboys in my fucking comment section with all this fandom, fandomonium bullshit that y'all be coming at me with. Be bogus. It be fake. And if the fighter that y'all be shitting on did that same shit, y'all would have the same energy about that fighter as I have about the fighter that y'all so fucking, that y'all praise so goddamn much. Keep telling you motherfuckers. I am an equal opportunist. If you say or do some fraudulent shit when it comes to the sport of boxing, I'm going to call that shit out. Been doing that shit since the day one of this motherfucking channel. Ain't changed. The only thing I don't do as much as I used to, I don't get LDBC niggas no more because that's that's what that is. That's, that's just what it is. <laughs> Aside from that, I don't really go bad on motherfuckers like I used to. Because most of you motherfuckers that I that people want me to go bad on, because there's some YouTubers out there that people want me to make videos about. And I don't make videos about them because I don't want to watch them niggas. I don't want to watch them dissect every little thing they say and they do and then make our own feel like doing that shit. But I say I like to say this. When it comes to the sport of boxing in today's age and era, it ain't the same. These ain't real G dudes, bro. These are businessmen, bro. In order to be the best in anything, not just combat sport, in anything you do in life, in order to be the best, you have to outdo who is ever the best at whatever it is you're doing, no matter what that is. You fans are quick to call a fighter the best or number one because of his fame and one fucking fight. One major marquee fight, and that's enough for y'all. That's all y'all need to see. That tells y'all all y'all need to know about a fighter. He's this, he's this, or he's that, or he's this. Motherfucker probably ain't never really been truly tested. Ain't never really fought nobody really worthy of really praise and acc accolades. They might fight one dude that might give him a little bit of a problem and y'all think that that's the biggest test in the goddamn world. Y'all motherfuckers don't know shit. If a fighter gets in there and he beats a dude easy, that's not a test. I don't care how big the motherfucking name is. It's not a test. Unless you on your Roy Jones shit. They say I ain't got that. I got the nerve to say that I ain't fought nobody. I just made him look like nobody. I can respect that. I can respect that if you fighting the big names and you fighting these dudes and they supposed to be tough dudes for you, but you just, you just watching them. I respect that. But that's not happening. I look at the UFC, bro. You look at a dude like Kamaru Usman. You even look at a dude like like Israel Adesanya. You know what I'm saying? Hell, you look at um Khabib Nakamedov when he was fighting. You look at dudes like that. They fighting top dude after top dude after top dude. When they got the belt, it ain't no question if they the motherfucking man. Ain't no question. They fought you. If the if you earned your right, if you fought this dude, beat this dude, you fight that dude, beat that dude, you fight this guy for to get your title shot, you win that fight, you get your title shot, you get you gonna fight for the belt. Ain't no, you ain't a draw, you on the wrong side of the street. Ain't none of that shit. If you earned your right to fight for the belt, you getting your shot. Period. Period. Ain't none of this ducking shit that you bitch ass niggas do in boxing. You promoters do in boxing. Ain't none of that shit. That's why I say you niggas is scary. That's why I say that shit. Because y'all care more about acquiring fame. Fucking fame. Because y'all worried about brain damage. Then you in the wrong business, nigga. 
If you're more worried about brain damage, but you so raw, right? You so good, right? But you worried about brain damage. Well, if you so motherfucking raw and so G, you ain't gonna have that problem. Because you're too good. <laughs> Tyson Fury is not a top 10 heavyweight all time. He is the one of the most famous heavyweights in the game today. But to say that Tyson Fury is top 10 all time? Top 10 all time. So you mean to tell me out of every heavyweight boxer from the eight, the late 1800s all the way up until today, he's better. He, there are hundreds of heavyweight fighters, bro. And you mean to tell me he outdoes them? Tyson Fury did not fight every fighter of his era. He did not do that. He's not going to do that. He came in. He got fucked up. He came in the game, fought Klitschko, got all that fame and all the right. He couldn't handle it. Started doing drugs and all that shit because he couldn't deal with the fame and all the right that came with it. Then he comes back. Don't knock a nigga for how they fall. You know what I'm saying? You got to knock a nigga for the comeback. And the way he came back, he came back on some G shit. He didn't come back on no bitch. He came back on some G shit. He fought the little two tuna fights. Then he got the big fights, the big fights with Wilder. That is Tyson Fury's biggest comeback. The biggest thing about his comeback, excuse me, was the three fights with Wilder. That's it. If you look at Tyson Fury, the biggest thing that you could say Tyson Fury really did was fight Klitschko and Wilder. <laughs> biggest thing he did. Klitschko and Wilder. Two people. Two major marquee fights that solidified his career. That would catapulted him to where he's at today. Those two fights. Klitschko fight is what got him the unified titles, got him the WBA, the WBO, and the IBF belts. You know what I'm saying? And the IBO, I think. Had those belts, even though nobody count the IBO, so I ain't going to count that. But the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO, he had them belts. He had that shit. Won that shit then, lost his shit, you know, life hit him, lost the belts, vacated, comes back, wins the WBC belt from Deontay Wilder. Def defends it from, well, not defends it, he defends it actually once. One time he defends his belt. Because the first time he fights Wilder, it's a draw. Second time he fight him, fight him, he wins the fight, but it's controversial. So the third fight, defends his belt, beats him, hands down, no problem, no questions, nothing. He goes on the shield just like he wanted. <clears throat> but it's not just Tyson Fury. I don't want to make it seem like I'm on like on some like hater on hating on Tyson Fury shit. I'm not saying that. I think Tyson Fury is a hell of a fighter. He's shown leaps and bounds in his skill set from the time he's from the time he first started as a pro up until today. I give you props for that. But what I'm tired of is the fandom. You're not top ten all time, Tyson Fury. Quiet is kept to be real with you. The only fighter that I can arguably say in this era that could be argued top. 20 or maybe it's Canelo because he's doing the undisputed shit. He fighting in multiple divisions. Like he really doing hella shit. You can't really argue that people hate on it, but you really can't argue with a nigga who going through multiple divisions, winning titles, world titles, not regulars and supers nigga. He winning world titles, unifying, becoming undisputed. He's even talking about being undisputed at light heavyweight. Like that's his next thing is to be undisputed at light heavyweight. Being multiple division world champions, undisputed at super middleweight, and then more than likely possibly going to be uh, undisputed at light heavyweight. First ballot right there, bro. That's that's real shit though. I don't I can't knock that shit. I can't. The shit with Errol Spence, bro. Yeah, I'm on you Errol sexual motherfuckers. It's Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford shit. Y'all on arrow so tough, y'all can't even see the bullshit that's happening right in front of y'all motherfucking faces. Or y'all with the shit too. You feel me? Arrows sold hella pipe dreams. One minute you say this, arrow, next minute you say that. One minute you say this, next minute you say that. What is it for real, arrow? What is it for real? You played hella games with the folk. You didn't have to do that to sell the fight. All this other side, of, I got to clear this. Da, da, da. 
that whole this is what you this is what you did based on the shit you said. Crawford on the wrong side of the street. What he really was saying is, I'm not gonna fight Crawford until I clear up everything on the PBC side, which what your whole ass should have said in the first place. Not Terrence Crawford on the wrong side of the street. That was bad, 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 bad choice of words, bro. But you did that shit on purpose. You knew what the fuck you was doing. But that other side of the street shit was bullshit. Cause you reneged on that shit in your fight hub interview and say, oh, well, I gotta do this if I want this, da 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 da. Or I gotta fight Crawford if I wanna be undisputed. I gotta get first. I gotta get. No, ain't no first. You gotta get nothing. You ducked Crawford for five years, bro. You could have fought Crawford. Crawford had one in the belts. You didn't have to clear your side of the street first. That's cap. You didn't have to do that. Al Heyman probably obligated you to do that shit. And then what was funny, you could have fought Crawford instead of Mikey Garcia. Who was the bigger fight, bro? Crawford or Mikey Garcia? But you did that shit to fuck with the folk. You wanted to get that Mexican money. That that fight was cap, Errol. You didn't have to fight Mikey, bro. You did not have to fight Mikey. I get trying to fight Keith one time, two time. I ain't got time. You better not duck me, son, Thurman, because he ducked you every every time that they mandated for you or, or put you in a position where you were supposed to fight Keith next, Keith always got injured. So that makes sense. I get it. But at the same time, you've had ample opportunity to hit that bud. You did. You chose to fight Mikey Garcia. Then Keith Thurman vacates his WBC belt based on an injury or some other bullshit. So Keith Cap and Keith gonna sit up there and say, oh, y'all, only reason why y'all having it because I allowed it. What dumb nigga, what dumb motherfucker in all of captivity is going to say, I allowed this fight. I gave up my belt so they could have this fight. Who says that shit? But anyway, these dudes to me is cap, bro. I ain't impressed. I'm not impressed by a famous boxer, bro. I need to see these dudes tested and tried, bro. I don't want to see a test don't mean you get caught with one good punch and that's it. Oh, he got he got caught. Oh shit. He got he got caught. He took that. He got it. No. Dillian White wasn't a test for Tyson Fury. That was an easy work fight for Tyson Fury. Easy work. Easy work. Right? <clears throat> Fighting somebody like Deontay Wilder who has to apply pressure on you to get you. He can't, you can't, he can't fight on the back foot, none of that shit. He has to apply pressure. He has to constantly fight on the front foot. Once you figure that out, which Tyson Fury did, what did Deontay Wilder bring to the table aside from being a puncher? Nothing. Fight Usyk. Tyson Fury fighting Usyk is going to tell you a whole lot more about Tyson Fury than him fighting Dillian White or any other heavyweight. Because Alexander Usyk can match, he can match him skill for skill, will for will. So fighting Dillian White, to me, does not prove that he can be matched, that, that Dillian White can match him will for will, skill for skill. Alexander Usyk can but he's not going to fight that fight. That fight makes sense, right? You fight Usyk, it's for all the marbles, for undisputed, for everything, right? That's what it's for, right? Is he going to fight him? No, he's not going to fight him. Because Alexander Usyk does not have a, a big enough name to make major marquee dollars like a Anthony Joshua. So because Alexander Usyk does not bring multi, multiple, multi, 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 millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars to the table... It's an issue. But like I said, if AJ was still holding all those belts, Tyson Fury would be talking about fighting AJ next. That's cap. These fighters, when they see a guy that has the ultimate potential to beat them, not make a good fight of it, actually beat them and beat them good, they're not going to fight them. They don't want to fight them fights. They don't want that type of smoke. Okay, all that shit is bogus, bullshit, cap, lying, all type of shit. That's what it is. 
And all y'all fanboys, oh, Tyson Fury is the best. He's the best. All fighters nowadays got to do is win one marquee fight, and they the best ever. They the best to ever do it. You comparing them to this dude, that dude, and you comparing them to other fighters who fought everybody. Everybody. Not because they got a bell. Not because the fight had to make sense. Because you a good fighter, and you got the potential to test me to really see what I'm really made of in here and up here. That's that's the the fighters that y'all comparing the today fighters to the fighters of those days. They actually fought everybody. So to be real with y'all, there is no comparison. So when you compare modern fighters to the golden eras, it's no comparison because in the golden era, they actually fought everybody. Don't mean that people didn't get ducked. Don't mean ducking didn't happen. But they show as hell did fight more top competition, bro. Back then than they do now. They make more excuses to not fight top opposition now than back then. Don't mean they didn't do it. They just do the shit hella much more now. Period. When you got motherfuckers like Jake Paul coming into the game doing what the fuck he doing. And ain't nobody saying this shit taboo. Cap. Fame don't make you the greatest, bro. You know what made Ali great? This is this is another thing I hate when y'all say this shit. This I gotta I gotta kill this. Y'all always say the, the the biggest bitch shit in the world. <laughs> Ali talked. Ali said this. Ali did. Ali blah blah blah. But let me tell you something about about a motherfucker that I look up to in this box of shit. Right, man. He rested. Right, man. His soul rest in peace. Ali not only talked to talk, he walked to walk. He didn't just talk shit. To acquire fame for him. He talked shit because black folks didn't talk like that back then. He was a trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? He was a, a global icon. You know what I'm saying? He changed the game. He came in talking and he didn't just tell you what he was going to do. He actually did the shit. Y'all like to talk. Don't do nothing. Ali would talk. Get in your head. All kinds of shit. He was the innovator of that shit. But guess what? Ali also fought everybody in his era. Took losses. Something that y'all ain't finna do. Y'all riding this undefeated shit. But y'all not fighting nobody. Y'all not fighting no real threats. Y'all not fighting dudes when they at their best. Y'all waiting till they, y'all aging them out and shit. And then using their names. Like, well, I fought him. Yeah, you fought him with a nigga 50. You didn't fight him when he was a killer. When he was out here murking shit, you fought the nigga when he was past his prime. He didn't have the speed. He didn't have the power no more. He didn't have the footwork like he used to. He don't move like he used to. Or he can't absorb punches like he used to. Because he used to have a hell of a chin. Now he older. He can't take shots like that no more. So now you just leeching off the nigga name. You ain't fight him at his best. I cannot respect you if you ain't fighting the person at their best. How you know what you really made of if you fight the person when they a shell of themselves? They're not even at their best. They're a, they are a shell of themselves. Y'all care more about fighters that have fame than fighters that actually fight top opposition at the top opposition at the top opposition. Y'all cap. Y'all fans is cap. Y'all come to my channel, want to disrespect me because you don't respect my motherfucking opinion. Or you don't respect the facts that I bring to the table. But I'm here to tell you, only one fighter... <clears throat> Two, if he would have still had the belts. But as far as somebody that's a champion that got the title, there's only one fighter, bro, that's arguably doing some something similar to the fighters of the golden era. Feel me? And that is Canelo Alvarez and another fighter that was doing that. Well, he's still doing it. He's just not a world champion right now. And that was Anthony Joshua. And y'all gave Ant Joshua shit for that. But then at the same time, on the flip side, want to sit there and praise Automatic Pacquiao and calling him a throwback. And give him all the praise and honor and glory. But you don't want to give praise, honor, and glory to other fighters that's doing the same damn thing. Doing the same thing. That's cap, bro. Cap. Straight cap. And I can't fuck with it. Fame don't make you the best. Fame just give you fame. Look at Ryan Garcia. He got all that Instagram fam and everybody. Oh, Al Ryan is this. Ryan is that. Why? Because he hit the double M bag good. 
Why? Because they put him in there. They make videos with him sparring weak motherfuckers, and he knocking them out, breaking their jaws and shit. He ain't sparring nobody really good. He's sparring motherfuckers that he that they know can't do shit with him. So when y'all hear shit like Ryan Garcia broke this guy's jaw, whoever he was sparring with was hot garbage. These dudes don't spar dudes that's on their level or higher because they don't because the promoter or the trainer don't want the fighter to lose confidence. Suck a shit. That means you don't want your fighter to get better. In order for you to get better, you have to see where you where you ain't good at. And the only way for you to see where you not good at, you got to go against somebody that's better than you or on your level to expose those weaknesses so you can work on them in the gym. So when fight night come, the fighter that you fighting don't expose those particular weaknesses. So all y'all sitting there trying to say, oh, they this or they that, or he's so good, or he's so that. Y'all sitting there hyping these dudes up like they don't have nothing to improve on. Then with somebody like me, who's not finna just look at what they good at, I'ma look at where they fuck up at. All of them, Canelo, AJ, Terrence, all the shit. Like, I could tell you everything I think or I believe is wrong with most of these dudes. I'll make a video for that. But nobody in the sport of boxing does exactly everything perfectly correct, bro. Nobody. Everybody got their little thing that they do better than somebody else. But y'all be hyping up these dudes too high because you follow them on Instagram or you follow them on Twitter or you just a diehard ass fan. So you just fanboy out the ass for these dudes to where they could do no wrong. Cap. Fame don't make you the best. In order to be the best, you got to beat the best. Tyson Fury ain't beat the best in this era. The best boxer in this era right now it's Alexander Usyk not Tyson Fury I'm gonna say that I said this go check the channel one belt does not equate to you being the best I don't care if you won it in 10 15 years ago I don't give a fuck about that you are not the best you are one of the best the best heavyweight in the division right now is Alexander Usyk he got all the motherfucking belts except for one I said the same thing when it was Deontay Wilder and AJ AJ is the number one heavyweight because he got all the belts. He has all the jewelry, bro. Wilder only got one belt. You can't say Wilder is the best. He only got one belt. First, this motherfucker over here got four. WBA, WBO, IBF, and the IBO. Motherfucker got four world titles, bro. You only got one. How are you better than me and I got four? That's like saying I got four championship rings. You only got one. Who is the better fucking player? So, obviously, Alexander Usyk is the best heavyweight in the game today. Facts, period. He got the belts. He got all the jewelry, bro. Not Fury. Fury got the fame. Alexander got the belts. Y'all care more about fighters that run their mouth. Like women. A lot, of you, a lot of you boxing fans are beta males, female tendency type niggas. Because y'all go after the dudes that's all in the camera running their mouth, acting like women. But the dudes that's kicking back don't talk. They let their actions speak for themselves. Real man shit. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk shit. I don't want to do all that. I want to fight you. I'm a fighter. I want to fight you. You want to talk about fighting. I actually want to do the shit. Y'all care more about the dudes that run their mouth like straight bitches than the dudes that rather sit back and say, man, hey, give me the contract. Let me sign that shit. Let's scrap. This is the era of soft-ass dudes and fighters, bro. Soft. Soft. Vast majority of y'all, soft. All that my own ball shit, soft. Ain't nobody in the game they own boss. The only person, honestly, I take that back. The only two fighters that have actually shown that they kind of are, they, they actually are their own boss, Anthony Joshua, Saul, Sinaman, Canelo, Alvarez Only two fighters that I've seen in the game today Really was like I'm my own boss I'm gonna go where I wanna go I'm gonna fight who I wanna fight Blah 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 And really do the shit Everybody else talking about I'm my own boss I'm this and I'm that But when it comes time to actually doing some shit They don't wanna do nothing The shit is cap bro Fame don't make you the best Beating the best Make you the best Don't get the game fucked up Run